Welcome everyone to part 20 of building a city from scratch. If you have been sticking around since part 1, you are awesome. If you've found this series midway through and have started watching since uh, that first video that you watched, you're awesome. If this is your first video in the series that you are watching, guess what? You're awesome too. Everyone's awesome was watching this because you're looking at me building a city and I think that's pretty awesome. Am I awesome? Some people say that. The first thing I want to do right now is make sure that this highway works. And it was suggested to me that one way of getting it to work would be to just redo these uh, neighbor connectors. So I'm going to do that, but it looks like I need to fix one side of the road up. Shouldn't be a big issue. And uh, I'll replop this. Because traffic is starting to get pretty heavy on some of the other pieces. Like I've had this road extended and they're all coming in uh, from other connectors. And yet the highway there is sitting unused which is the one that can actually handle the volume. Neighbor connector pieces. So I'm just going to redo them and I'm going to keep an eye on them with, throughout this part because I did have it working and then I screwed it up and now I can't get it to work again. So that's good. Um, I've also decided that uh, this water treatment plant, I thought about getting rid of it, but it does a good job of um, its placement or whatever. And I think I'm going to put industry around it because who wants to live near a water treatment plant, right? Yeah, exactly. So I think I'm going to zone this. It'd be kind of good because you have like a automotive headquarters here. I think I, all the way up to maybe like here, and then I'll have like a little commercial area. The edge of the mall. Maybe I should have the edge of the mall commercial. Okay, I'll have this area as commercial. But this will stay industrial. Also, I can make this road. I found this ditch here. I can use this for uh, zoning too. So I'm just going to do a quick little... Uh, Rezone, which will demolish existing development. So sorry if you uh, hate this moment. Oop! Small fix there. Oh, it even built the street connector. Let's get rid of that. And this is the first bit of uh, industrial. Oh, come on, go away. I know I can hold shift to get rid of it, but I'm just doing small areas. So that's the first little bit of uh, high-tech industry that I'll be uh, adding to the city. Um, I should also set the tax rate so I don't get crap dirty industry in it. Maybe make it an attractive 5%, not 0.5, 5% for now. Uh, I'm making a healthy profit so I really don't need to do much taxing. But I'll probably lose some revenue now that this area is gone. And then over here, I want to uh, I want to do commercial zones here. That's a good setup, and then I'll do the rest as forests. Forests will help raise land value and help lower pollution. And they're also good fillers, filler pieces. So that's good. That's a good change. Gonna give, give the game a uh, quick save and then uh, put the simulation on. What happened? Did I just lose the sound? Oh no, it just changed. 
Okay, well, whatever. And then over here, I think I want to put in another bus stop. Oh, start the simulation. As this terminal's overloaded, right? It's like 500%, so... Maybe if I put one on this side... Uh, it will help alleviate some of the stress that that terminal is getting. And I'll also put a subway station here while I'm at it. So just give it a minute for the, uh, the underground uh, view to load. It's a little slow for me. Uh, there are some people that have suggested using a uh, a data packer, data packer for your uh, for my plugins folder, if that will make load times a little bit faster. And I'm not really sure um, if it will. And I'm sure people are saying, "Yes, it will. Yes, it will for sure." But I do use a solid state hard drive for um, running SimCity 4, so I try to get things going as uh, as quickly as I can. And that didn't take too much time, right? Like it's not a big issue but the larger that the larger that the city gets and the larger that my subway network gets um, the larger the problem will become and then how did I want to do this I need a side street here well that's a perfect uh, road angle where I want the side street to be. I think I was doing this in an earlier part. Oh yeah, I was laying in the in the light rail, and this is kind of like where I originally had it going, and then decided on cosmetic grounds to root it somewhere else. And, uh... So I'll just do a quick little tinker here. This doesn't quite fit, does it? Can I get it to fit? Yes, I can. Good. And just replop that. Uh, I think it was a, just a bus stop here. And I have to rezone because not all these zones are going here. Just a quick fix. Maybe even put a bus stop here while I'm at it. And then forced open grass area, whatever. And then here, I think I have... I don't know what I want to put here. Probably a parking entrance or something. But I'm just wondering, if usage is so high here for the bus terminal, what do I want? Do I want people going on or off here? We've got a lot of commercial, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put residential here. Oops, it's a little too big. Oh, I got the Canadian flag here. Interesting. This will be a big residential area. I'm thinking. And then I'll keep... Actually, I'm going to keep this area commercial. By the uh, the larger road here. How does it like me here? Yeah, that's good. Oh, no, that's good. I think I'll put a road here, too. As the subway line goes under, so you may as well blacktop the uh, tunnel. And then... Oh, wrong menu. Fix the slopes up a bit. That's good. Makes everybody happy. Now, this is uh, technically a subway station, so I don't really need one there. Put maybe a park or something. And why not? Another bus stop there. And then I'll make the rest of this kind of work out. Actually, if I go the other way, I can have like a nice little tree line thing. I should really switch from open grass area to that forest plop. 
Or maybe put something else here. Let's mix it up a bit. Let's put I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a better park area. Maybe a Max's small park green. I don't know. And then if I zone four tiles here. Maybe have this go a little bit more. No, 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 no. Just have a parallel road uh, just for zoning stuff. Put a couple parks there. A lot of bus stops. Well, they got the light rails right there, so I don't really need it much else. And it's a good filler spot to put it. I'm wondering if this is just too much. Go one more. I do want this center. Maybe have it curved this way. But do I want it to dig in? Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'll have this dig in, and I'll have this. No, these are good. I don't want to. I don't want those to start any uh, further down. So I'll just do a little bit of rezoning here. Maybe not. These condos are already going up. I won't rezone the condos. I'm just checking my demand bar. So I'll have some commercial by the highway. And these interior areas will be uh, residential. So how does that meet up? That's good. You can even go one shorter on the curve. That's about the same. Just to play around and see where things uh, where things fit. So I probably want the curve here because that's 80 tiles or 8 tiles. Curve action can I get here? Yeah, that's good. I got some wacky, uh, wacky gaps in the roads here. I think it'll look pretty cool when it's all zoned and cool, good looking. And here, there's a road that kind of slides around both sides. Is there one on the other side too? Oh, they both connect. Okay. Just need to keep that in mind. Maybe I should do a full intersection here and then have the road curve. Okay. Another spot for a bus stop. This one isn't really needed anymore though. Put a couple parks here. Rezone that so all three tiles get used. Because a single 4 by one tile, um, I don't know if there's any default zones that work for it. And then this is... This is kind of a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> I like it, though. I'm just going to give the game a quick save. I'm not paranoid about crashes, but I just I don't want it to happen. And I'm going to go check on the highway um, while my mind is on it, too. Just seeing cars enter. I 
I see a dump truck. <laughs> I guess that's progress. But nothing yet. Um, I'll load the other city tile when I've done this part. Let's see what's going on, because that needs to be fixed now that my city's been built up pretty pretty well. Oh, do I want to... No, I just want trees there. And again, in the comments, if you want, or just any way you want to let me know, if you have any suggestions on uh, fixing up the city or improvements or general comments about, uh, you know, what I'm doing, feel free to let me know. I appreciate it. And I'm one of the... Uh, I, I am someone who tolerates constructive criticism. If you've got... Uh, you know, an issue with something I'm doing. Uh, feel free to let me know about it. But again, you know, it's my own thing, it's my own style, so don't get angry if I say no. Or something like that. Do I need this RHW the whole way through? Actually, I don't want to mess up with the, the flex overpasses, so... Uh, I'm going to say no for now. I could put another station here, but it's so close to this one that... No, it's not really needed. Ooh, I got room on this side, too. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of those stations. Maybe just make, like, a nice... I wonder how nice this forested approach works. It's good. Maybe we can get rid of these. Make it interesting. So I've now got highway frontage. I've got buildings running the edge of the uh, the highway. Here I want uh, probably a bus and subway station, since this is uh, dense commercial. Just takes a minute. Bear with me. And yeah, I think I was saying in my last video, once I get uh, development up to the highway, I've used, I'll be using about a quarter of the city, uh, more or less. But the rest of the city shouldn't take as long to build if you're getting a little impatient. Um, not that you should always... Not that I'm feeling impatient or rushed or anything, but it's just... Um, where's the transit piece on this? I have no idea. Sometimes you see the transit connector. And I should probably hook this up to the subway grid, too. I have no idea. When in doubt, just kind of... do this until something works. And then connect it all up. I don't give a crap what the subway network looks like. You won't really see it anyway. I don't know if I need anything on this side. But I'll, uh, I'll put it in for now. Ah! I tried to zoom out underground. That is a big no-no, and I shouldn't have done it. But luckily, I, I, I just saved not long ago, which is good. So I'm going to come back into it. Um, one of the lessons to learn from uh, from this video if you're doing it if you're viewing this for an educational uh, experience do not try to zoom out uh, too much anyway when you're in uh, underground view especially subway view as it may cause a crash let's get rid of some of these things here Now, having programs running in the background, like I had iTunes up. I don't normally have iTunes up when I'm running uh, SimCity 4, but I don't think it would cause too many performance issues. But um, if you want the smoothest performance um, possible, just do uh, just run your PC kind of bare bones uh, when you're playing SimCity 4, as it will uh, typically run a little bit better. 
So right now you can see three programs that I'm running at the bottom. This is basically what I'm using to record. XSplit Broadcaster uh, just does a better job at recording, in my opinion, than, than Fraps, which makes massively huge file sizes and other things. Uh, shift Window is basically what I get. Uh, the I get it to run in in uh, in one window windowed perfectly. So it's kind of like a windowed full screen mode. So I just hit trigger it, and the and the taskbar is gone. Uh, beforehand, I just needed to uh, minimize the taskbar. So yeah, I didn't lose. I didn't really lose too much there. I just have to rezone this again, which is just a piece of cake, right? It's not 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 hard. So if you're if you always get like mad at frantic crashes and stuff. You know, this game may frustrate you, but I think it frustrates uh, me in a good way. Right, I know exactly what I'm doing. It's all fresh in my mind. You know, you can get mad at the game, or you can try to get along with it. And sometimes you'll have disputes, like uh, when it crashes. <laughs> But, you know, you just got to learn to live with it and do what you can to try and minimize it. Some people have been saying in, uh, in the comments that my game crashes way more than theirs. But again, I'm using a lot of content. I'm using uh, the game for NAM testing and all kinds of other stuff. My plugins folder is a complete mess. I really don't have any uh, desire to clean it up. But see how I just zoomed out once there? Any more past this zoom, I think this is zoom, like, what, four? Or something? Um, any more than this, and it will cause a, uh, a crash or two. Well, having a game crash twice at the same time, that would, that would suck. Alright, that's more or less good. I'll have this connect up. And this, where was this going? It's going over here. So I'm just going to exit underground view. Oh, no. I got to fix that. Just giving the game another save. I got some heavy traffic on this road, too. Oh, and I got a little present over here. Well, that one almost slipped by me. If I would... If I just stayed here, I would have missed it. What's this little bugger doing? Is that the right query? St. Helens? That's a default Maxis building! Why is that uh, not working? Did I take out a core file of the game? St. Helens kind of looks like a, an Orthodox building. Orthodox Catholic building or whatever. And this was tree-lined. There we go. Pretty much back to where I was. And then here... I'm gonna, this would make a nice commercial district. <laughs> this would be like 80% streets if I didn't do anything to the uh, street network. This is a good spot for a bus stop, though. Infill. No, no, not residential. I want uh, commercial here. Don't need too much subway, because like, there's a big elevated rail slash subway station over there. Yeah, having different things could be like mom and pa shops and stuff like that, or small office towers. Look kind of neat. Hang on. I'll put one big zone in here. And then I can put a multimodal station somewhere around here. Uh, wherever it'll 
look good. I'm gonna put it in now because I think it'll be good. Actually, it won't fit. So that'll be a, a no anyway. I always do that on that side. I know, something like that look good. This would be a good spot for like a water fountain or some kind of split or something. Uh, what do I got that can fill it up? That's a double thing. I, I really liked one of my favorite um, items in SimCity 3000. was like kind of a water fountain park like this that was one by one. I just wish something like that existed for uh, SimCity 4. Although it probably does. Maybe a statue would be good here. I, I gotta do the cheat code. You don't deserve it. But like a one by one um, fountain park would be awesome. I oh, know I'm at the three tall statues. Get it to face maybe this way. Oh, don't get hit by the cars, you stupid pedestrians! Also, don't let the grizzly bear eat you up or the moose. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a deer. And then, how are my... Uh, I'm just going to put on my data views. I don't know if I need another uh, big government building here. This is near the edge of the fire zone. Again, I, 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 if you don't remember me talking, I just basically said that fire uh, protection doesn't need to be a big issue. Because if fire breaks out, just make sure you have enough trucks. So, I think I'm okay for now. Crime, though, you want uh, decent protection. Uh, zones, land value... Health coverage. I've got a hospital. I should probably check on the usage of the hospital. Because it's way down here somewhere. I think it's on the main road. Funding's way low. But, uh... I'll put that up. So the capacity... I don't understand why I have 57,000 doctors and yet only 26,000 patients. That's pretty good. You get like two doctors for every patient. And the patient capacity is over a million people. Like what? The NAM does something weird to it, or at least something that I have. I don't think it's the NAM that pays attention to that kind of stuff. But um, just looking at it, I don't think I need any big budget uh, commercial buildings or no, government buildings here. See if I can find a landmark or something cool to put in some of these areas. Since I've got all this stuff, may as well use it. That looks pretty neat. Where does it look good? Here or there. Probably put it here. And that, if anybody is wondering, is called the Pearl Tower, or the CH Port Tower. Is it Port Tower? I guess it's a Port Tower. I thought it said Pearl. This is something I just downloaded. I think it's like one of the cheese grater buildings. That's what you call like a style like this. Might look interesting in some of these like filled areas. Ooh, what the heck? Bridge Estate. Something's wrong there. I'm just going to write it down. Try to either get that fixed or deleted. They both Bridge Estate? Yeah, that's... That's a brand new one. I've never had an issue with that um, building before, so keep in mind. This is a really tall tower that's being built here in the residential zones. That's called the Rich... Isa building, or Zhongdong. 5,000 rich people are going to be living there. Right next to the bus terminal, which is 
still at 500 percent and this bus it's taking 18 percent so it's helping with the relief you know maybe i should put one here put I, i'm gonna actually put two bus stops here try and relieve some of the uh pressure there that's a big twin tower there don't ask me where i downloaded that because i do not remember Oh yeah, the Fuji TV building. That'll fit great. I'm gonna put that here. The end of all this junk. I thought I increased the tax rate on poor people's shops. You're gonna go up to 20% because I don't like you. You keep poor people around. Not that I hate poor people, I just want them to do better. Ah! Oops. I destroyed my transit station. And I destroyed a really nice glass condo, too. Oops. All right, where's where's the station? Plop that thing back in and get it connected. Then I'm gonna call it a part soon because I don't know how long I've been going. But it's probably been a lot longer than I think. Time flies when you play some city. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. Time flies when you're doing really anything interesting. Oops. Eh, I'll keep those, actually. I don't know. In the next part, I guess I'll fill the last kind of remaining area here. And over here. And then I'll have the entire city built up to the highway. And I'll have the highway fixed. But before I go, I'm just going to give the game a save. And I'm just going to look around for any other cool landmarks to, to plop in these open areas. Because I can. And then once I start developing on the other side of the highway, you'll see like all these overpasses and stuff being used. Because right now they're pretty much just sitting around. What do I got? This is big. I think it's almost too big for what I want. My city, this won't be a city center. This will just be like kind of a, a district. Hmm. That's kind of a neat building too. Actually, I'll delete these four tiles. Plop it right next to the... Uh, the road and get these things back in. Normally I don't like two of the same building being constructed next to each other, but sometimes they give like a, a cool kind of twin building theme, so um, I'll keep it for now. This is the Apple Store. I think it looks kind of neat there. I'm not a big Apple guy. The only Apple device I have is an old iPod. I think it, I think it's broken now. They just don't last. Overpriced. 
think that's like the entrance to the Apple Store in, in uh, Manhattan. Shanghai Stock Exchange. That's a just a not not big as in tall, but big as in uh, just very space consuming. I don't know if I want it. Doesn't really fit yet. We got a car dealership here. There's a tall building. That one looks. This one looks really cool lit up at night. I haven't done night lighting yet, have I? Lincoln Center. Now, what? It almost fits. Maybe I can get it to fit if it looks nice. I can make some adjustments to get it to fit somewhere. Put it here. I'll deal with the rest of that stuff later. Hockey arena. Okay, I'll put it there. Just kind of goes with the pools and stuff. Actually, I don't like it. Don't like that one there. This thing's massive. I think that's the Eureka Tower, or whatever you call it. I like that. That looks pretty neat. Oh, and this is a Starbucks, I think. I got the car dealership. Where's a good fit for the Starbucks? I don't know. By the uh Oh no, I don't have the uh the asphalt for it. It looks like I'm missing a plug-in for it, but it works. Starbucks are starting to appear everywhere in Canada now. This is like Tim Hortons territory, it's dominated. We got a couple of those grown in the city. This is one of those big buildings in Montreal. I kind of like it over here, actually. That works. That one is 101 Young Place. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to put in the uh, Nam HQ in the old the new roundabout. Can't really see it too well. Make way for Nam!
Already occupied? I thought I'd demolish stuff. I'll make sure it can be seen. Oh no, I deleted the avenue by mistake. Good catch. That one, I'm sure you want to know the name, BNL Cloverleaf Insurances. It's too tall for this area of town. Absolute worlds. I wonder if I can find a home for this. Why not? It's a little tall for this area, but whatever. I think the smaller version of it was made as well. That's three World Trade Center. That's way too big. So it looked nice if I had a spot for it. I do if I sacrifice the one-way road. Eh, no. I'll find a better spot for it. I think that tower looks really good there. But I'm pretty much coming to the end of my landmarks folder, so I'll call it apart pretty soon. Yeah, these are just too big. Some of the stuff at the end is just way too big. Take one last look. Nah, that's good. Alright, I'll call it a part there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're in part 20. Things are almost done. I'm just going to give the game another save, do maybe a zoom out, and then end it there. Oh, we've even got light rail trains starting to go, so that's cool. And of course, as soon as I zoom out, it crashes. Good spot to end. See you later, guys.